Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition with mods. This time around, I do have a bit of a special one lined up for you. It's a little bit out of sorts as far as traditional characters of the game is concerned, but I think with the keeping of the theme of the mod itself, it's pretty apt, so I thought we'd give it a whirl. Just a heads up though, although I did thoroughly enjoy the last playthrough with Sherlock Holmes and the Monster Squad and the pet T-Rex, the T-Rex itself was a little bit of overkill. So the T-Rex pet has been turned off, although the T-Rex is still alive and kicking in this game, uh, just not as pet uh, in a pet form, and the Monster Squad have been turned off as well. And Sherlock's relaxing back at home with his big old statue and lots and lots of money, so he's awfully awfully happy with himself as well but let's crack on shall we and it's on the end here good old captain picard captain jean-luc picard it's the next generation team yes 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 we have with us Riker, troy wharf data and the forge beloved leader you may recruit one extra crew member and you inspire loyalty. I, don't, I, I presume we've got beloved leader just so we can have an extra person on the end here. We won't be able to pick anyone up, but that doesn't matter. I'm sure we'll be fine. We're zooming down into the past, apparently. We'll see how that goes for us. Phaser adds an extra combat dice. Always nice. And replicator. This replicator seems to be malfunctioning, but can still be used to produce rations. It is priceless in this time period. Oh. Well, I, I, I guess we'll find out, shall we? Let's crack on. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, dear friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honour our most famous member? Word is it that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I am afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. Ruff, 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 ruff. It's the usual lot. I'm sure we'll be fine. Now go explore. Adventure awaits. And, uh, well... We've kind of set ourselves up to be playing on certain death from here on in, I suppose, after the last playthrough, or cakewalk, as I like to call it. And let's uh, let's do it. Where can we go? We have the Grand Drylands, or the horrible, horrible jungle. I mean, it's a no-brainer, really, isn't it? Grand Drylands it is. After a good night's rest, I hurried to the harbour. The crew had preparations left to do, so I sat on the pier and waited. A wealthy foreigner named uh, Dai introduced himself. He told me that he originated from the area of our upcoming expedition before coming to England with a crew. He had thereafter settled and invested here and requested that I find his wife in his former village to escort her to London. Why not? Sounds fun. I accepted his request to find and return his wife. He nodded thankfully and wished us luck. Alright. Forwards. And that. I mean... We've got a full team. It, it doesn't get much better from here on in. I don't know what all the guys do. I suppose that's what we should probably check out first and then take it from there. In the thick mist of a rainy morning, we reached the land of our imminent adventure. We had arrived and it was time to sally forth. It, the thing is, it's the sort of thing I, can, I expect Picard to say. He's quite a Shakespearean guy at the best of times. So, you know, old schooly words, words from him. I dig it. I dig it. Let's begin. Thankfully, the well-to-do foreigner had indicated the location of his former village on our map. I was curious to see if he would find his beloved there, or if we would find his beloved there. He's not here. He didn't come with us. Felt like he needed to stay at home. You'd have thought, knowing the place, it'd be easy for him to come as well. But I digress. Oh, there it be. Ooh, and it has one of those ranchy things next to it, it would appear. All right, okay. Well, let's check everyone out, see what's going on. Uh, we have Captain Picard. He's got an um, observation defense die. Carries two. Not so bad. What be you? Oh, it's our quest. We have Riker. Oh, he's all he's out and out fighter. He's really on Riker. Uh, and he is good with his reputation, supposedly. Uh, we have Deanna Troy. Uh, she likes her observation dice. And she is essentially a, a trader who... Um, Gives us a little bit of extra sanity in, in villages. Very useful. And uh, we have Worf. You know, he's a bit of a tank here. You'd have thought he'd have been as, as aggressive as he is in the, in the program. Uh, at least one red die, but hey-ho. Uh, he has regeneration. Wounds will never infect and regenerate much quicker. It's a shame he doesn't pass that on. We have Commander Data, whose observation, of course, of course, 
He has a pure mind as well. Immune to any kind of mind sickness. That's good to note. He'll be here till the end. And uh, he's an artiste, of course, of course. And uh, we have Jordi LaForge, who, oh, who can see, apparently, and has uh, increased viewing distance. Nice. Okay. Right, so we have this replicator. What happens when I click on it? Oh! But it takes five turns before I can use it again. Or five days, should I say. Uh, that, well, mm, useful, I guess. I mean, we'll never want for food, I suppose. Although it will be very low. We'll be, very, be running very low to crises every time we stop. We came across a stone formation that was obviously man-made. There are inscriptions painted upon each rock. Perhaps they formed a type of map. Show me all... I mean, we're going to find the ruins anyway. It's a small map. We're going to find it all, really. Reveal the caves. One. So I suppose... I suppose, I suppose, I suppose... We should probably buy a torch, if we can. Uh, in the meantime, let's promote Riker. Boo. I was kind of hoping for another red die. Never mind. Uh, 22 to 30. Guess we'll have to go down. I mean, I presume rations work in the same way, so I won't be able to eat them until we get to a lower sanity. Yes. Today we reached a village. This group were a clan of powerful warriors and protectors of this region. There was a native offering supplies and animals to would-be explorers. As we approached the village, we were immediately approached by a native. She introduced herself as Pulloquaff, and it transpired that she was the wife we were asked to escort back to London. Without further ado, she happily joined our trek and began to show us around the village. We should study their culture! Nice. We were guided into the village by a crowd of cheering kids. Our reputation seemed to be very positive in this region. Upon our arrival, Deanna Tri began to converse with the natives. So what's our standing then? Six as a, sta as a base standing. I'll take it. Uh, let's trade. I mean, we could do the torch. Just the one. Like for like. There's nothing else here. I mean, the jewels would be nice, but I don't really have anything else to trade. I can't give them a phaser. It'd blow their minds, quite literally. Right, so, uh, so there's not really much point in visiting the outfit. We might, might hit it on the way back. So we might as well go. I mean, we could rest. It'd be free. Let's rest. I told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. The people of the tribe were celebrating the maturation of one of the boys. He looked very young. He had to climb a hidden rock face nearby. They tried to tease me into participating in the ritual to prove my worth. I say okay. Oh, bugger. <laughs> oh, well. I failed miserably and had to endure their laughter for the rest of the night. That's fine. It's a small map. I'll take that. Plus 30 sanity. I slept in great comfort and safety. The following morning was bright and sunny. A perfect day for new adventures. Our time with the natives was a delight. They remained friendly and offered us more help. Well, let's, let's take it then, I suppose. We unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire. The natives were very hospitable and we spent an enjoyable evening with them. Alright, how boring. I slept in great comfort. We did that bit. Let's crack on, shall we? In a heartbreaking ceremony, Polo Craft said farewell to her twibe. I don't know why I said twibe. And we... And we left, as she left, she, as we left, she mentioned that she would like to visit a holy shrine in the vicinity to receive a blessing for her travels. She marked the location of the shrine on our map. <gasps> Ooh. Well, I suppose we could hit that on the way back. Let's go and have a look at this cave. Pop. We located a cave. The entrance seemed to lead deep into the mountain. We needed a torch to explore its secrets. Oh. Stuff. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a small cave scattered with the detritus of what seemed to be a failed expedition. The skeletal remains of what must have been a German explorer presented us with a crooked smile. All the bones we found had been cracked open and it seems looked empty of mallow. To our surprise, one of the rotten crates still held some valuable equipment. Oh, didn't it just? We shall take it all. I mean, oh. Don't think we've come across it yet. That's fine. That's fine. All right, 72. And lots of rations. We'll carry on with the rations. I mean, it makes sense to just press it whenever we can, I suppose. Uh, let's get up onto the rock. Sure. 
Should get a good view. Ah, oh, look at all that. Wow. Uh, 21, 20% to go crazy. Uh, let's eat a Russian, just the one. We'll travel to the other side of the question mark in question. Oh, that crocodile's going to give us some beef. I can feel it in my bones. Uh, let's eat, eat, and eat. We found an old campsite, and there were debris of what seemed to be a failed expedition from long ago. The place was overgrown with vor voracious plant life. Oh, I wanted to leave in a hurry. Well, not before we searched, good sir. This place surely retains some trinkets of worth. We formed small teams and scoured the place. To our surprise, one of the modern crates still held some valuable equipment. Oh! Well, that's all good. We've only got one shovel. Take it all anyway. So what's that one then? Oh. Hang on. Uh, it be that one. Just there. Um, what about the other one? Have we found the other one yet? And we haven't found the other one. All right. Uh, what do we do? Do we wait? Continue. Let's continue up. Ooh, a shaman. I mean, he might. He might have a shovel. Uh, with that being said, Deanna Troy is probably best to be promoted next. So we get that better bargain. We entered an odd-looking hut. The place smelled of old dank wood. With all types of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the walls. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. Oh, actually, we don't need that. No, we just want to barter. No, we don't. We want to stop all that. We want to trade. What does he have? Ooh. Dry lands. World creation. Eagle scout. Hill creation. None of those are useful. Bah. And indeed humbug. I mean, what can we get? I, I, I'm a big fan of the green mushrooms. One green mushroom. One green mushroom and absolutely no way of buying another shovel. You know what? We can always come back. Let's deal that. Let's deal that. All right. So. We want to get to here. Just there. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Just there. I mean, we could, we could get a little bit closer to the crocodile. You son of a bitch. Okay, well, let's, um, more food. Let's eat. You just know. You just know, as soon as I get a little bit closer, he's going to come at us. Uh, let's eat. I mean, can we sneak past now? Oh, indeed. Oh, indeed. Right, let's, uh, let's explore, I suppose. Our final destination taunted us with its golden glory. Overcoming all the obstacles, we had yet survived. Uh, ooh. You know what? I'm going to leave it for a second. We're going to eat. Now let's explore. Hooray, more sanity. I had completed my journey, but for what price? Make no mistake, getting back to my ship would be dangerous. Can we not just be beamed up at this point? Uh, I mean, we could wait there. More food. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Let's go and dig up whatever it is that's down here. Oh, ten tre treasures. After many hours of digging, we indeed found something valuable hidden beneath the surface. <gasps> well, that was completely not worth it. Awesome. What are you then? A shrine. That's real sucky. What about the other one then? Where would have that been? That would have been there. Hey, there's not a lot I can do about it. Uh, we need to eat. Right, so we're up to a maximum capacity. Uh, we're in a relatively good position to get out of here in one piece. I mean, we could go down to the uh, the waterfall and get our sanity up. Other than the other shrine, there's nothing else left to hit, is there? Right, okay, so 
A large building loomed in front of us. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. Grand stairs led up to an enormous doorway. The structure showed some big cracks, but it seemed sure enough to explore. That was secure, by the way, not sure. Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. It was a truly awe-inspiring sight. Our steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. What you got for me? Gold? Oh, didn't expect that. What a glorious day. That was exactly what we came for. Oh, he was expecting it. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to shift. We hurried outside as the shrine was swallowed by the earth and huge mountains erupted from the ground. And that didn't really change anything. Except... Going to there. I mean, he the, the crocodile may catch up. Oh, gotta eat you. I mean, it, all it means, really, is smaller jumps. As long as we can travel for enough days to get the replicator working before having to eat again, we should be all right. Oh, we found a strawberry. I mean, it's, Wolf must. He must, must, must have a red dye. Surely. Thank God for that. Right, so. Um, let's do more food. And more food. Uh, do you disappear at the end? No, we'll keep you for a second. Not quite there yet. I mean, it's not really a bad thing for me to be like this. It, one thing which is definitely true in my case when it comes to playing this game is I uh, don't really like this is that I tend to overstretch my means so to have a way of restricting me and making me take smaller steps in order to not die horribly I don't think is a bad bad thing all in all a large building loomed in front of us. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. The portal that led inside emitted nearly chill. The structure shows some big cracks, but it seems safe enough to explore. We found a sacred altar room. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its centre. Oh, what are you? World creation. I mean, alright, it's not the best, but I'll take it. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to shake wildly. We hurried outside as the shrine was swallowed by the earth and huge mountains erupted from the ground. Uh, you know what? That made virtually no difference. That is fine by me. Uh, Replicator. Uh, can we get back to the village? I mean, are they upset with us? They are. They're a little upset. They'll get over it. That's fine. We're not hanging about. Only because... Let's go see the outfitter. Uh, I'm just interested to see what he's got. The outfitter welcomed us into his home. That doubled as a store. He had a selection of local supplies neatly arrayed upon a rug and a willingness to trade anything. Uh, well, I'm not fussed about the... Sir James, that is cool. And Sir Barney. But no, what trade stuff do you have? See, he didn't have a spade either. So uh, that's fine by me. Uh, I will take you... Uh, I mean... What don't I want, really? I'm not fussed by you. Uh, I am not fussed by the totem sticks. And we'll keep the telescope. Uh, we can get rid of the treasure maps now. So that frees up a bit of space here. Uh, so what can I get, really? I mean, rope. We've got a bit of rope. Uh, torches would be useful. I'll we'll get five, three, five, six, seven, five torches. Uh, a couple of medicines and a couple more rope. Fine by me. And that's where we've just been. Uh, so let's go back to the village. Uh, just one more check with the village. I mean, we could take the jewels for a little bit of money. It would only be a little bit of money, though. I mean, we could take the ivory for a lot of money. But what would we get rid of? I mean, I'm not that fussed by the telescope. It's only an extra map point chance. I prefer the binoculars. Oh, they like that. I like it a lot. I mean, we could have... Mm. 
Maybe I don't sell that. What about a, a strawberry? No, no, not dark strawberry. How about a green mushroom? They like that a little bit more. Oh, they like those. I feel happy with that. I mean, really, we're going to get really fun, fun, fancy, fancy, finicky about it. That's probably even better because we're just about to replicate those. That works for everyone. Awesome. Let's go. Uh oh. Uh, Pull across, stay behind for a while as she had more business to attend to with the villagers. However, she caught up with the trek that very day. The natives thanked their gods as I left their village. The subsequent day, I had the uncomfortable feeling of being watched. That's all right. Now, just a, a goodbye party for Pullercraft, who is there. Yeah, superstitious. That's fine. We can live with that. Uh, however, we cannot live with no sanate. So let's get back. 68. That's fine. We'll stop in this lovely stone forest. Have a picnic of beans. And uh, back we go. That was that was a pretty pretty good expedition. We returned to our ship. I paused to appreciate the beauty of our vessel. Oh, well, let's go home then. Our triumph here was beyond our wildest imaginings. I remember the great many things we had left behind in these cursed lands, mostly beans. Our vessel set a course for London. I knew my grandchildren would talk about this adventure long after I was gone. After weeks of travelling, euphoria overcame me. I knew that my name, Captain Picard, would be synonymous with victory. Awesome. Don't know where we finished. We were fairly efficient. Here we go. First. Awesome. I never look at the left-hand side of the screen. I probably should. My microphone's there. It all gets in the way. It's not important. As long as you finish. That's all that matters. Hey-ho. So brave. This is wonderful. Right, so we can choose from waterproof, charismatic, or ninja. Receives an additional crit die. Reduces chance of tripping combat slight. I like that. I'm not worried about rivers. There's no point recruiting anyone because we've got a full team anyway. So ninja it is. Captain Picard the ninja. It's got a ring to it. It's got a ring to it. So, Darwin, Tubman, Crowley. Is it Tub Tubman? Yeah. Crowley. And, ooh, who are you? Garvey, that's it. Look at that. We don't even need to trade anything in. Uh, as far as money is concerned, we should be all right. So let's gift, gift, sell. What's that? 167 ahead. Uh, I mean, we've got 30 funds. We'll get a bit more for bringing the lady back. We'll gift that and sell that. Boom. And in the next episode, we get to go to the treacherous jungle with a portal or the malicious desert with a temple and a mummy, probably. Interesting. I'm going to have to have a, a think about that. But until then, thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.